How to use laser mode in MyOps Smart. First, mount your camera onto your tripod. Then, mount your MyOps Smart on another tripod. Connect your MyOps Smart to your camera by using the camera connection cable. After that, power your device on. Now, power your camera on. Then point your laser pointer to the small lens in front of the device and make sure a steady LM sign appears on the screen. Next, open the MyOps mobile app. Finally, connect your device and choose the laser mode from the menu. The threshold parameter determines the minimum light level which will be considered as a laser beam. You can move the threshold line down to decrease the threshold and up to increase it. This parameter should be set to a level high enough to ensure that the daylight can't exceed and low enough to ensure that the laser beam can exceed. On the app screen, you can see the light changes detected by the device with gray and orange bars. Gray bars show the light level that won't exceed the threshold, and orange bars show the light changes that will exceed the threshold. The delay parameter defines the duration between the detection of an event and the triggering of the camera. You can define the delay anywhere from 0 up to 999 milliseconds. By changing the frame parameter, you can define how many frames will be taken when the laser beam is broken. The interval between the frames can be defined by setting the laser frame interval parameter in the settings menu. You can save your setting for your next shootings and use them whenever you want. You can also schedule your laser setup for a specific time. Note that you can set all these parameters directly on your device without using the mobile app. After setting the desired parameters and pressing the start button, your device will start detecting the laser beam and trigger your camera when the laser beam is broken while you can see the details on the status screen. And that's it. It's all so easy.